Hello, welcome back. This is where we left off in the previous video. So what we're going to focus right now is to dispatch an action inside this profile component and display the profile or the boost or details about this user in this component. If you like this video, please like and share to motivate me to create more videos like this. So let's get started. So here, let me head over to my profile component. This, if you don't have it, like I told you in my previous video that you need to have. So let me even remove this from my history for now. I'll explain to you the reason why I'm doing that. And what do I need? I need to use, make use of my, this is on, let me arrange them well to have my local import after my, <coughs> my modules like that. So here, let me make use of my new dispatch as always. If you follow me until now, you know what you dispatch is all about. If you don't, there's a way of dispatching an action from component, right? So next one, my use selector, because I want to grab the pieces of state for my store. So I get all this one from my React Redux. Let me arrange them well, bring them up here. So you dispatch is to dispatch an action from Redux hook. And use selector is to connect and grab a piece of state we care about. So here I need to also get the action. The action is called get user profile. Get user profile. Mm, I think I already exported sometimes. So let me check again my users action. Um, let me head over to my Redux action and see if I exported it. So the name is what? Get user profile action. Yeah, let me export it. So let me bring it here. Get user profile action. So let me head over to my navbar component. Sorry, my profile. <laughs> yeah, and let me ex import it like get user profile. Do I have auto import? No, so let me do it manually. So import, let me grab it from dash dash slash dash dash slash. Let me see. No, I'm going for, I think it's slash. One more slash. Let me see how my Redux. No. My assets, yeah, Redux is here. And then my actions and users and my user actions. And let me grab get user profile action so here i have my action in my component next i have dispatch it so i make use of use dispatch like i said i've explained this one i've explained this one a couple of times in my previous videos so this is use dispatch an action so here i'm going to make use of use effects because i want to also run my action anytime there's a state change in my application so the next parameter I'm going to take based on my array of dependencies, which will depend on that. So my dispatch, now I'm going to take my get user profile action and then call it. So with this, when I save it and I head over to my application, you see that my profile action Twitter has been called. Let's try and see. Let me refresh it and let me show you if I'm correct. Perfect. Now we have it there. Isn't it wonderful? So with this, let me make it large for you to see that I have called the action inside my component. React is really awesome and Redux if you know the flow. So the way I'm enjoying it, the same as you, if you keep practicing, ask questions and practice, practice, you get familiar with Redux and React syntax. So now I have user profile users here and I have my books in here. So now we have it inside our component Right, so we're going to grab this user and then just paste it here, email, blah, 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 name, blah, blah, blah. And I have to loop through my books and then replace them here as that, right? So let's continue. So now let me have a dependencies called dispatch because when something gets changes, I have to run this one again. So let me here, let me use use selector to grab the pieces, sorry, so let me look at the state now. What do I need to grab? My state, grab user profile, right? So here, user profile, and I have the user. 
So here, I make case of user profile. That is what I have it on my store. So with this one, I think I have loading. I can grab, I have to explain this one. We have done this one a couple of times, so I'll move a little bit faster than before. User profile. And I may need the error. Sometimes I may face an error. I have the loading as well. And I have the user as well. So if you check it, we have the user here. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So with this, now I have the user there. So we are going to make some condition statement here. So before we even re uh, display this um, component, I'm going to check if it's loading or whatever. If it's an er error, we can display an error loading. Yes, you are a loading. So here, <coughs> sorry. So here we say when it's loading, right? But before that, let me get an error. If there's an error, then let me show something H2 here, and then there's no the kind of error. Let me embed it. If there's no error, then, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm sorry. So if there's no error like that, I wanna check for loading. So I will see if it's loading, is it loading? Yes, then I will have my loader. I can create a loader component, I have loading component. Hope not, let me have this even H4, whatever, and say loading. If it's not loading, then we need to return this div for now. So let me cut this one and then paste it here inside. So with this, let me show you one more time. Refer I will see it see the spinning loading, flush it and goes like that. Did you see that? Wow. So now it's working. So with this, we can instead of this static one, I can change. The email here and embed go user dot email right so with this save it and boom you have it and the name do I have the name on the state let me check my store if I have the name of the user profile user action profile and then I can name Oh, I also use the name as well, right? So here will be user dot name, right? But sometimes it can tell you that um, you cannot read property of email on undefined. So to avoid that, let me make some conditional statement here. So I will say that if there is only a user, then grab the user id with this we are sure we are secured but we have even a simple way of doing it instead of using this end operator we can make use of user question mark and then dot email and then question mark dot name so with this we are sure that we are not getting gonna get any error so next is the book which i'm going to look through the books and display it it's very simple that and with this one too, you can make a conditional statement that if this error, display an error, otherwise, then, so here before even, the, let me cut everything for my table here, here, and let's check. When is, if there's error, even you have checked the error above, right? So you're not getting the error here, but if it's loading, if actually it's loading, then you will say, H1 and say loading, please wait. All right, so with this, if it's not loading, then I can paste my table with that. Let me save it, and there's no error, it means we are good to go. So, what do I need is the books. So, instead of creating a static author here updates, I'm going to make it more dynamic. So, instead of creating the T row. We are going to look through and create it. So here we can let me cut everything from here because when you copy it and paste it one more time, you see one more row as let me see, boom. So you need to loop through and get that. So let me cut the rows here and loop through on the books. On the user, we have books. Remember? So let me show you in my 
dev extension tool here and uh, let me show you here in my state for user profile here users we have books here and you can look through so user.books so here we can have we have access to the profile the books so here we can say if there is actually user then to be user dot books sorry so here we can make let me make a simple way so if there is a user right and user dot books and like I told you we can make it a simpler way by making use of question mark to user question mark dot books and here we're going to use map right to go through and here I have access to the book and when I return immediately return GSX here and I can paste in my book table so with this let's see I'll have this one only one book so here instead of that I can even um, let me embed it here and say here I have my um, book dot author from a MongoDB database and then here will be book dot title so let me save it with this we have it let me check perfect we have it done so here when I can I can create one more book here for my postman let me change this one to the body and say node.js2 and programming2 and the author2. Send it. Boom. Why are you not creating it? You will. I trust you. <laughs> right? I trust you. You create it. Right? So, <clears throat> sorry guys. That's how we do it. So you can do it that one from a front end and grab that. All right. So guys, that's how we get a user profile into our profile page. So with this, I think, let me check my terminal, why the server is hanging up. It's working. So what is wrong? Oh, sorry on my side. I didn't provide in the authentication part, my headers. One more, sorry, my head is here. Let me log in again. Grab the token, copy it, create book here, authorization, bearer, and paste the token. And let me create. Boom, we are good to go. So let me fresh my application. You see, I have more and more book created. Boom, we are good to go. So guys, that's how we do it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, like and share to motivate me to make more videos like this and many more. So thanks for watching.